Jets. I love Jerry West. I love that he said all of this. Yeah. I love this rivalry we're going to see between the Clippers and the Lakers. And I do believe that there is a lot of truth behind everything that he said. We talked, heard LeBron talk about his family, how important that was in his decision. So I do think all of these factors heavily weighed into why LeBron wanted to go there. But Magic Johnson is Magic Johnson. And, and I think him being with the Lakers, I think the fact that he was there, that he is the president of the team, that the cachet that the Los Angeles Lakers have, and then you add in Magic Johnson now being in that role with the team mm -hmm. played a major factor in LeBron choosing there. And so I'm not sure that I could speculate what LeBron would have done if, if Magic Johnson was not in that role. But I do believe that he was... Maybe it was easy, but it's not easy being Magic Johnson. It's not easy being the, the person that he is, the character he is. And I think that that played a major role in trust, in understanding the direction of the franchise, in why LeBron additionally wanted to make sure that this was his next stop. All right, so a couple things. And I have the utmost respect for Jerry West. There's a lot of the old-time players that I'm like, man, they couldn't get college scholarships today. Jerry West is not one of those guys. Jerry West was a bad man in the 60s. Jerry West would be a bad man today. Like, And his resume as an executive is unimpeachable. But those comments would have made more sense from 28 other GMs. Not the only other GM that offers LeBron the same city that Magic does. He's like, oh, his kids want to go to high school here. Where, where would he go to high school if he played for the Clippers? His kids, his family owns a home here. Well, what home would he live in if he played for the Clippers? Like, so the, the, part of that rings hollow. Like, you do have the Lakers exceptionalism of the cachet of the organization. Yes. And that, of course, plays a part of it. But where I don't think Magic and Rob Palenka are getting quite enough credit on this is... Maybe LeBron was, for the last couple years, leaning towards going to L.A. They could have screwed it up, though. Let's not forget, they mm -hmm. unloaded Jordan Clarkson's contract, what, by the way, to Cleveland, to free up more cap space. They drafted well the last two years in Ball and Ingram to give you assets where a Kawhi trade is plausible. Last offseason, they resisted the urge to sign long-term deals. Instead, they give Contavious Caldwell Pope a one-year deal. Like the, I think LeBron, two decisions ago, instead of Miami, I think he probably, a couple years before he made that decision, wanted to go to the Knicks. And the Knicks screwed it up. The Knicks had that cachet. They, they, Miami, they could have, Dwayne Wade could have left and gone to New York with him. But the Knicks screwed it up. The Lakers were patient and they handled, they, they gave LeBron, even if he was already leaning there, every reason to end up going there. And Jerry West also, he did provide, he did have the opportunity to present the same thing to Lakers because they are the other team in Los Angeles, but they just don't have the history. Why would LeBron James go to the Clippers? over the Lakers like that wouldn't make sense no decision like this is easy because you can mess up that decision now Jerry does make some good points as far as who LeBron is in his life going forward Los Angeles Los Angeles is one of the few places that he is going to be able to have as far as you call it a normal life he will be able to hide away because there are so many stars but the branding to LeBron is important and the only brand of basketball in Los Angeles is the Lakers. They got 16 championships. There is no comparison. But it's nice that Jerry's able to get into the conversation. Now, to Jerry's credit, don't, if he can pull off the Kawhi, because there is a rivalry there. If he can pull off the Kawhi, and he's working day and night, trying to be able to do that, he needs some help from a third team, then that would be able to get Jerry West back into the conversation. When We, we used to talk about him all the time. When he was in Memphis, in the front office, we talked about him. He was with Golden State. We talked about him. We didn't know where Jerry West was. So he let people know, I'm in Los Angeles, even though LeBron decided to go to the Lakers. And Jerry said every single thing about Los Angeles without actually talking about the Lakers' mystique. And he, more than anyone, knows mm. what that means. He helped build it. Yeah. Well, if Jerry and Magic were flipped, would LeBron still be a Laker? Yes, I think so. Yeah, Jerry I, wouldn't blow it. I mean, no. we, we have, if everything was equal... We have more confidence in Jerry West than we do in Magic Johnson just because of years of a track record. So it's beyond just who Magic is. It really goes back to this was not easy. 
And it's not about trying to land LeBron. It started two years ago, almost two years ago, when Jenny Buss decides to. First, Kobe needs to retire. All right? That was one of the, like, let Kobe, Kobe needs to go off to the pastor. But last year, when she fired her brother, that was one of the gutsiest decisions that she's ever made since her dad passed away. Because you have to realize the dad passed away, and also they're, they're going to the bottom of the NBA. They, they came together. The dad passed away. He's been gone, I think, six. This will be a sixth season. And they've been one of the worst teams in the NBA since then. Her firing her brother and hiring Palinka and Magic, that's what got them to the day that Magic could wait outside LeBron's house. That big decision as far as firing her brother was huge. I also think, and to your question, which I think is true, both Jerry and Jerry West and Magic Johnson are legends, legends of the game. LeBron can attach himself to either one of those men. I, like, I personally think, too, the Lakers struggles the last five seasons. I think LeBron loves that. I think Magic loves that. I think both of them embrace the idea of being able to bring it's this like a French clean slate, yeah. and they get so, to have full ownership over whatever success comes to that organization. Absolutely. And it goes with the track record of decisions LeBron has made. I understand in Miami he brought Chris Bosh with him, and I'm not discounting that. But he went to a team that hadn't won a playoff series in four years. Yes, he was drafted by Cleveland because they were the worst team in the NBA. When he went back to them, they had been one of the worst teams in the NBA mm -hmm. and the worst team over the pre the four years he. He was gone. He's never gone to a ready-made contender. I mean, I, let me rephrase it. He's never gone to a team that the previous year was a contender. Everywhere he goes, he makes them a ready-made contender to a degree. And when he brought Bosch with him in Miami, of course, that was a great basketball team. I'm not discounting that at all. But the, the other thing that I want to give Jeannie Buss credit for is people... People do a really bad job of remembering what they said about things and certainly what other people said about things. A lot of people scoffed at Magic Johnson being hired for the job that he was hired at. People talked about, oh, so Magic, he's going to be he's going to be up on the analytics. So Magic, mm -hmm. he's going to be scouting guys in Europe. Magic Johnson wants to contract. sit in, in in these high school or college gyms and it was missing the forest for the trees. They hired Magic Johnson because he has one thing no other person in the 7 billion people on this earth can offer. They're not Magic Johnson. They're not the guy that, while LeBron might be chasing Jordan's ghost, LeBron, I would, if you ask him in his most honest moment, the guy who he, who he watched growing up, who he plays, who he admired the playing style the most, it's Magic Johnson. Not to mention the business stuff. Not to mention the different things he's done outside of basketball, which trump almost any player ever. Yes, also Polinka. I mean, that's Kobe's agent. He had never had a job like this. So there was plenty of doubt between Magic taking over mm -hmm. as basketball operations and Palinka. What kind of, it was like, man, what's Kobe? I thought they got rid of Kobe. Now they got Kobe's agent running the team. Yes. Kobe's shadow will always be over the team. So to this point, they have done a tremendous job. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.